All right, we're here with Coach Charlie Toomey of the Loyola Greyhounds. You guys get off to a great start 6-1 in the first quarter. Colin Finnerty scores four goals in the first quarter. Uh, just talk about his execution and your offensive execution in that quarter. You know, I thought it really started at the X today. I thought that right from the first ground ball, uh, John Schiavone, Michael Atkinson, they came to play. They gave us the ball. We, uh, you know, I don't want to say it was a make-it-take-it situation, um, but I thought that, you know, if they were able to get one at the other end, we felt pretty good that we were going to have it back in our hands. And and, um, you know, they just gave us a lot of momentum at the X. Colin Finnerty, um, you know, has done what he's done all year. You know, if he gets his hands free, he's really got an opportunity to score. Um, Shane Coppins, I thought, was very unselfish today and really kind of got us to our spots on the offensive end. And, uh, you know, guys like DJ Comer coming in off the bench and scoring three goals. Um, you know, it was a hustle game for Loyola today, 44 ground balls. And, uh, you know, that's what we wanted it to be. We wanted to go out and honor our seniors who have been terrific in our program. I think their record is now 22 two and six in league. We've lost one home game um, in the ECAC in four years. And so we, we wanted them to leave with their heads up. And uh, obviously we've got hopefully a lot more lacrosse to play. Sure. Uh, now, this is your fourth season as the Loyola head coach, and you talked about your seniors. This is obviously the first class that's been with you from start to finish. Talk a little bit about those guys and what they've meant to you and meant to the program. Well, you know, I mean, they, they, they started at a, in coming to a program that hadn't been to the tournament in four years, so they took a chance on coming to Loyola College. And... Uh, you know, they've just they've done everything that we've asked them to do. And this year they've they've stepped up their role in that they're leaders in our locker room. They're leaders on and off the field. And um, and obviously they're getting it done on the field for us, too. So um, they're just a great group of guys that I know are going to be successful in life. Uh, but again, I'm going to enjoy them for hopefully three, four more weeks. All right, and then you got Hopkins coming up next. Obviously, going to be a, be a tough game. Uh, we had Hopkins. They're coming off a, a big comeback win against Towson. What do you want your team to change from the game today to uh, to help you beat Hopkins? Hopefully, I think anytime you play Hopkins, you got to play 60 minutes for sure. Um, you know, and, and similar to the Fairfield game last weekend, I think we lost the second quarter. Uh, we lost just about every stat line in the second quarter, um, and we have to we have to win four quarters. We have to just go out and and make it a battle, and we got to fight every quarter. And, and hopefully, when we look up at that scoreboard, Loyola is going to be on the top end. All right, thanks a lot for joining us, and congratulations, Appreciate coach. Appreciate you guys coming out.